everyone. I hope you're all having a good week. Today I am here with a moving tips video. So uh, as some of you may know, a couple months ago I did move um, and it's sort of my first experience with moving um, just myself and not like a family move and honestly when we moved as a family I was so young that like I barely basically did anything to contribute anyways. Um, so this was really my first um, move post university because um, I did move away for a year for university but that's like a very different kind of move when you're moving into like a residence or a dorm or whatever. So anyways, um, I definitely learned a lot in the process. Um, some things that worked really well, some things that didn't. Um, and I thought today I would share um, my tips with you guys. So I have my notebook here down on my lap and I've sort of organized everything into like pre-moving tips, moving day tips, and then post-moving sort of tips. Um, but the bulk of this video is sort of in sort of the pre-moving, the prep, um, because with doing the right amount of prep, your sort of moving day and post-moving day uh, goes a lot smoother. So with that being said, um, I'm going to get started with the pre-moving tips. So my first moving tip is to number and keep track of your boxes. So something that worked really well for me is I just had a sort of notebook uh, on a clipboard. And for me, what I did was is I sort of divided it up by room. Um, I also should have prefaced that I did have movers for this move. Um, so that kind of helped make things easier, but regardless whether you have movers or not, numbering your boxes will still be really helpful. Um, so I divided up each page by like kitchen, living room, like bedroom one, bedroom two, like bathroom or hall closet or whatever sort of spaces you have. Uh, give um, a page for each of those things and then number under each box. So like kitchen one, kitchen two, kitchen three, or like bedroom, like bedroom one, two, three, um, so that you are able to keep track of what you're putting in those boxes. Um, so some of my friends have laughed that I had a ton of boxes for one person. Um, so I'm just not going to comment on sort of what's normal, a normal number of boxes for move for one person or not. I do admit I did, I did have a lot of stuff. Um, but since everything was really organized, it was sort of very seamless. And um, the really handy thing for numbering these was that if there was something that I was sort of looking for or needed to unpack, um, I was able to figure out what box number had what in it and it helped me find that item. Um, granted, since everything went pretty smoothly, I didn't rely too heavily on my list, but I know when like big families and stuff move and you, it takes like days, sometimes like a week to unpack, um, it's really helpful to have this list. So highly recommend um, getting a notepad and kind of keeping track of what you have in each box. The next tip is to plan and know what's going to go where. Um, and this will save you a lot of time um, if you have movers and you're paying them hourly. Um, the more time they're sort of here helping you move around stuff and figuring out what goes where, um, it's just gonna end up costing you more at the end of the day. Um, and same thing if you're using sort of friends or whatever, you're just gonna be kind of wasting more of their time. Um, so definitely bef uh, before you move in, make sure you're able to do a walkthrough of your space, take any measurements if you need, to and kind of gauge what furniture you're going to place where um, as well as um, if you want like certain boxes to be placed somewhere to kind of unload like for example um, any sort of boxes that house things that I knew I wanted to put in my closet like uh, uh, the main bedroom comes with a walk-in closet I wrote closet instead of main bedroom because I don't want them putting those boxes in the far corner of the bedroom when I really just wanted them plopped in the closet. Um, and it made my, like their time go a lot quicker because I knew exactly where I wanted what furniture placed and what on what wall and what direction and, and where I wanted what boxes. So it was all super, super quick and it actually ended up saving me um, a bit of money at the end of the day because my actual cost of moving ended up being less than my quote for moving um, just because it went a bit quicker than they expected. And I think part of that had to do with how I had planned everything that I knew uh, where I wanted it to go. The next thing is keeping sort of tools and toilet paper, paper towel, like dish soap, dishwasher pods, um, laundry detergent. Keep all of that separate. Um, and the reason for that is because on moving day, you're probably going to need it. 
and it'll be easily accessible as opposed to being packed away in a box. Uh, so for example, for the tools, I just had a little bag from Sephora, it didn't have to be anything fancy, and in here I just threw in um, a couple of screwdrivers, a couple of, oh I just dropped my notepad, a couple of screwdrivers, an X-Acto knife, some scissors, um, extra tape, um, a hammer, like just some little tools here and there that I thought I might need. And I also kept my sort of moving checklist and notebook and stuff in here with a couple pens um, and a couple of markers too for any kind of last minute writing on boxes if I needed to. And this just came with me in my tote bag, like purse on moving day. Um, so I had it all together. And then it also really helped um, to have sort of toilet paper and paper towel not packed away um, just because you need that like first thing on moving day if someone has to go to the washroom you need paper towel to wipe something down it's not packed away in a box which is can be super frustrating the other thing too that I forgot to mention is also make sure you bring some garbage bags with you separate because you will have trash accumulating and if you don't have garbage bags because they're packed away, that will also be really annoying. Next is to wash as many sort of linens and towels as you can at home before you move. So for me, um, something that I would definitely do differently in hindsight is pre-washing all of my sort of bedding and towels. So before I moved, I actually bought new bedding for my bed as well as new towels for sort of the kitchen and bathroom and whatnot. And when I bought them, I packed them right away into boxes um, and I didn't wash them. And the reason why I wish I did is because the washer dryer that I have now in this apartment is actually like a condo size, so it's a bit smaller. So you actually have to do more smaller loads. Um, so I had wished that I had used my parents' washer and dryers at their houses um, to get all of that laundry done and out the way so that when I moved in, it would have been all sort of fresh already um, and I wouldn't have to have done so many smaller little loads washing all of that stuff. Um, with that being said, um, my mom is amazing and so smart and she actually had already washed a set of linens for my bed, um, which made things um, a lot easier on moving day um, so that I actually had clean sheets to use. So thank you, mom. <laughs> the next tip while you're packing is to pre-pack in a separate special box all of your new cutlery, dishes, anything like that. Um, so for me, I had to buy obviously um, new dishware and glasses and cutlery and uh, since it was already sort of packed nicely away in boxes from buying it at the store, um, it didn't make sense to sort of wash it all and then have to repack it all again. So I just put it brand new into packing boxes. Um, but make sure that you like either star or put on your list where that is because I highly recommend as soon as you get to your new place, unpack that box and start washing all of your dishes and new cutlery and stuff in the dishwasher so that it's ready to go by the time you get hungry and you need like plates and food to eat off of. My next tip is to just be organized overall before you're moving. For me, I already had a lot of stuff sort of organized in bins, whether it be sort of in my cupboards or closets or whatnot. I'm items already organized in various size bins and my shoe boxes I had all in order already so that it was just really easy to literally just be taking bins and putting them into boxes as opposed to having all these sort of loose objects running running wild um, and making it diff more difficult to pack. Um, having everything really nicely organized in bins just makes it that much more easier um, to throw everything in boxes so you're spending less time packing away tedious things. The next thing that really caught me off guard was how much packing tape I use. So buy a ton of packing tape. Buy way more than you think you're gonna need because you're gonna go through way more than you anticipated. Um, so just always have extra on hand because there's nothing more frustrating when it's 11 o'clock at night and you run out of tape and then your whole sort of flow of packing and making boxes at, comes to a complete halt because nowhere is open for you to go and get more tape. So always buy more tape than you need so that you have it um, at any time of the night when you're packing. Something else that I did was making sure I had the day after my move off from work. So I highly recommend obviously taking the day uh, of your moving day off of work and then also having the next day off. For me, since I'm really organized and I was really well prepared, I didn't need to take a day off before the move to finish packing. I stayed, um, really well on schedule and on target for packing sort of before work or after work. 
Um, so I didn't need to take an extra day off there. Um, so if you're like me and you're well organized and you won't need the day before your move, um, off to do last minute packing, um, I highly recommend making sure you have the day after your move off just because I got so much done between my moving day and the day after moving day that I had almost everything sort of unpacked and settled in and then ready to start sort of the work week. So highly recommend that as well if, you, if you're able to do so. Another thing that I'm happy worked out so well um, was how little bubble wrap I actually needed to pack up my things. And mind you, I have a lot of sort of tchotchke, like breakable kind of items. Um, so I did buy a small roll of bubble wrap and um, my dad had sort of a larger roll kicking around from who knows what when we last moved like a billion years ago. I'm not too sure. Um, but we had um, some bubble wrap on him. But honestly, I didn't really have to use much because I used a lot of sort of bedding and towels and sort of like bigger kind of hoodies and sweaters and whatnot to wrap things in so that it saved me money on bubble wrap and it was also less wasteful too. My next tip will help you save space and overall reduce the number of boxes that you need is to sort of pack and stuff any hollow thing um, with little random bits. If you have things that are kind of lying around, you're not sure where to put them, stuff them in, anything. Like I put some random things in like shoe boxes that had room or other little bins, miscellaneous things here and there. Obviously don't put anything important kind of stuffed away because you may forget where it went. But if it's something that's not important and you can live a few days without um, while you're kind of unpacking and coming across things, it will save you a lot of space um, in terms of boxes. And my last sort of pre-move tip is to just start somewhere with packing. Honestly, there's no like perfect room or perfect box or perfect place to start when it comes to packing. I, I'm a very methodical person, so it kind of took me a while to kind of start packing because I was like, well, where do I start? Like, do I want to start with the bathroom closet because I maybe I don't need everything in there? Or do I want to start with the bedroom? Or do I want to start with my kitchen stuff? And Honestly, there's no right place to start. Just label box number one and just start putting stuff in it and kind of just see how you go. And if there's space, like I had mishmash, like like my rugs, for example, like it didn't make sense for me to have one box that was just rugs. So I kind of folded rugs and various sort of blankets and towels and wrapping them in things. Um, they ended up being scattered across a bunch of different boxes, but you just have to make it work. Um, otherwise, you're going to be packing forever and there's no perfect place to just start. So just start putting stuff in boxes and making stuff fit and whatever fits great. And that's why you have your clipboard to so that you know what's going where and you just start to develop a flow and a rhythm. And before you know it, your whole life is packed up. My next category is going to be some tips for moving day. So like I said, most of the tips were in the pre-move uh, because preparation is key. Um, but a couple things for moving day um, that really helped was assembling um, your beds first. So making sure that your beds are ready to go. Um, my mom has always taught me this even when I moved into uh, residence or my dorm room or whatever you wanna call it um, at university. Um, getting all your bedding on your mattress and your pillow set up and everything ready to go so that if you sort of time gets away from you while you're unpacking and you're exhausted um, your bed is already ready to go so assemble your bed first next is to have water bottles and snacks this is something that completely spaced my mind and i'm so happy that my mom brought a case of water bottles the movers were able to have some um, I was so thirsty and able to have some. I had a reusable water bottle with water in it, but by the point in the afternoon where we started to get thirsty and really in the thick of moving, um, I didn't want to drink tap water because I'm not used to city water. I grew up on like a well water with reverse osmosis and I know it seems like I'm a bit of a water snob. I'm actually not. I'm not like buying like only Fiji or only smart water, um, but I'm just used to having reverse osmosis. So I didn't want to drink the tap water. I didn't have my Brita filter set up yet. So if it wasn't for my mom bringing the bottle water, uh, we would have been really thirsty. So I'm really happy that she did that and it was really great for the movers. She brought some like chocolates and some apples and some other little snacks. Um, so that was really nice because I honestly thought that we would just go like pick up food, but we were just so in the groove of sort of moving and unpacking that we didn't want to sort of go out. We could have ordered it, I guess, in hindsight, but it was just really handy having those snacks and that water. So highly recommend packing some of that in your purse with you. 
And the last thing for moving day is having step stools handy. Um, they are such a lifesaver. I got two from Solutions. Um, so I'll insert uh, what those look like here. Um, there's two different heights. They were really cheap. I think $15 for one and or 15 or 20 for one and 10 and 15 for the other. I can't remember. Um, but so helpful for being able to put stuff up higher um, and whatnot and they just fold away and take up next to no space. And so those are really helpful for a moving day as well. And a few um, post moving tips that I kind of discovered. Um, the first is once you've moved in, assess your space, assess your, assess your needs, especially for your sort of cupboards and kitchen drawers. So I made the mistake of buying um, like kitchen shelf organizers and uh, like a cutlery tray organizer uh, for the drawer. And I ended up having to return a ton of it because a, some of the shelving, um, some of the shelving organizers didn't fit properly in the cupboards. And then for the cutlery drawer, um, the drawer was too narrow to fit the cutlery organizer that I got. So I had to return all that stuff and I didn't have anything for my cutlery. So kind of just, um, in hindsight, I guess I could have looked into that, um, when I did sort of my pre-move sort of walkthrough and sort of done a quick look at how wide the drawer was because I thought cutlery organizers would have been kind of universal, but most of them are too wide for the drawers that I have. Um, so I'll wait until you move in so that you're able to kind of gauge how you're going to organize your cupboards and your drawers and then go buy the drawer inserts or the shelf organizers afterwards. Next thing to assess as well post move is possibly considering buying a second set of cutlery. So I only bought the one set thinking I was only one person. I'm not going to be hosting these like huge dinner parties or whatever. But I noticed that with the knives, I was running out of knives and I had to keep washing them because you get sort of four big spoons, four little spoons, four big forks, four small forks. So that can kind of get you by. But the drag was only having four knives in the set. Um, so thankfully I was just able to borrow a few spare knives from my mom, but that's something to keep in mind um, if you notice that you need a lot for like spreading things or cutting things or whatnot. I mean, I have a knife block, but for some reason the dinner knives, four is just sometimes not enough for me. Um, so consider looking into buying a couple of uh, separate little knives individually um, before you move so that you have those because the sets are not going to come with them. Next is being prepared to do many garbage runs and many, many, many recycling runs over the few days post move. Um, so just accept it. Don't try and do like one massive recycling trip. You're gonna have to do like a dozen small ones and it's gonna be over a few days. So get some comfy slides by the door um, to kind of go back and forth to do your garbage runs in and just sort of accept that it's inevitable that you're gonna be doing them like day after day after day um, as you sort of unpack and throw out stuff and, and whatnot. And then my last post moving tip is as badly as you want to sort of decorate and finish everything and finalize everything, um, the best thing is to wait. And those who, what is it? Good things come to those who wait. Um, so don't sort of settle for that piece of artwork or that couch or that piece of decor or whatever um, just so you have something the week that you've moved in. Um, hold out for just the right pieces and you will be so glad that you did. And honestly, sometimes it's better to live in the space for a few weeks, months, whatnot, to kind of get a gauge for the space, uh, what sort of is working, what's not working, where you may need something, where you may not need something. Um, for example, I bought this big piece of artwork um, from HomeSense and I ended up returning it because once I moved into the space, I realized that the artwork just didn't really work with the wall that I had and I just wasn't really loving it and I'm like honestly like I don't even think I need a piece of artwork it, like on this wall anymore like I thought I did. Um, so if I had just sort of waited and um, engaged the space a little bit better, I kind of would have saved myself the time and the trouble of buying and returning um, this big painting. So patience is a virtue. <laughs> All right, and that concludes my moving tips video. If you guys have any moving tips, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I will only be here for a year um, in this space, so I will be moving again, and the goal is to be moving out with fewer boxes than I moved in with. So be prepared for some more organizational slash purging 
um, videos over the months to come um, because that is the goal um, I'm pretty fortunate I have a really big space that I'm in right now and a year from now depending on where I end up it's very likely going to be a smaller apartment um, and with probably not the luxury of having two bedrooms so there's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna have to decide uh, what I want to keep and what I want to get rid of so stay tuned for more videos like that please give this video a thumbs up if you found this helpful and I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching bye